Hello, it's Montmart Joe here again, and welcome to another Montmart art lesson. I feel really honoured to be on your screen. Now, today's lesson, I suppose, was triggered by a photo I took of a little street dog whilst on holidays in New Caledonia. This scruffy little proud forlorn street urchin made such an impact on me that I thought I might like to try and document my little friend with paint. Now, the dog obviously is the main focal point, and because there are no other props in the background to create interest, she must make a real impact. So I intend to use Montmartre modelling paste to do this. So let's get into it. Like most paintings, the first step is to draw up the image onto the support. In this case, a Montmartre double thick canvas measuring 60 centimetres by 90 centimetres. Well, that's our dog roughed in. Now we need to add the third dimension. And we can do that with Montmartre modelling paste. So apart from the modelling paste, you'll also need a number six palette knife. So let's get this on. The trick with this is to build up the edges and to take into account what is closer to the viewer. Like the head here, it receives more paste to reinforce this illusion. You are sculpting in a way, but it is in relief. And one must take time to ensure that it is quite smooth and build up as you see fit. If it needs more, then add more. Like on the ear, this is the closest element to the viewer, so I want to get that fold right. The paste has the consistency of Philly cheese. If you are not in a hurry, you can lay down consecutive layers of this stuff and can even sand it for a smooth finish. I'm actually quite fond of the effect I get by laying it on straight. I just love that rough look. Well, I really like the way this is taking shape and I don't think I need to go any further with the modelling paste because that looks great. It looks very three-dimensional. And to enhance the illusion of the third dimension, I'm going to add texture to the foreground and I'm going to do it like this. For this I have to lay the canvas flat. Incidentally, this is the MEA 0002C tilting studio easel and it's my favourite easel at the moment. But if you don't have the luxury of having one of these easels, you could lay this on the floor and do it like that. So I'm using the Montmartre craft glue and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this out like so and I'm spreading it out with a gesso brush. And apply your sand. This is just sandy dirt from the garden and I sprinkle it roughly over the PVA glue. Well, I can feel the excitement and tension growing and I just can't wait to get paint on this canvas. So let's let this dry for a couple of hours and I'll see you then. Well, that surface is dry enough for the next step. And the next step we'll be taking is to seal the whole lot in dimension white acrylic paint. And I'm using the zinc white for this. And we do this for two reasons. Number one, to hold all the sand in place. And number two is it brings everything down to the same white point. So colours will really pop when we lay them on top. So cover the whole canvas and be careful not to let paint well on the edges of the modelling paste. Time for some colour now. Because my doggy is going to be mainly tertiary colours, that is browns, I need the background to supply colour to this piece. And that background I've decided is going to be yellow. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Naples yellow up the top and lemon yellow around the rest of the background. And I'm going to do that because I don't want it to look too flat. And again, I'll be using the Dimension acrylics. Now these come in 75 milliliter tubes and 250 milliliter tubs. And incidentally, if you'd like any more information about some of the products that I've used in this lesson, jump onto our webpage at montmart.net. And while you're there, 
why don't you join us on Facebook too? So I'm going to start with this Naples yellow, take off the lid and I'm going to apply it with my 75mm Taclon brush. And I like to use the tub because I can dip my brush straight in and apply it like that. When you lay a colour on canvas that is intended for blending, lay it on thick. Blend the yellow into this and for the detail area I use a number 12 angle along with a 75mm Taclon. Let us now give our friend a shadow and this will really ground the subject. So the rule of the thumb is let's just say that the sun is emitting from this area. These points would go straight down onto the surface here. So let's draw this in. As I said, just lay a line around the area where the shadow would be cast. Now I have that drawn in. Our shadow colour is going to be four parts Naples yellow and one part raw umber. Give it a good mix and lay it in. I have made the colour darker closer to the dog by adding burnt umber. Finally, I can paint my dog. As I said before, the dog is basically browns and that is a raw umber, a burnt umber, a burnt sienna, a Naples yellow and a zinc white for mixing. There is a downloadable lesson plan for this project that can be found at www.montmart.net. It has my original photo and a colour breakdown diagram for you to print out. So let's squeeze out these tubes and get this paint on. So I'm using dimension paint here. Squeeze out a dollop of raw umber, burnt umber, raw sienna, Naples yellow and white. We start with the raw umber, our darkest tone, and lay in all of these areas. Refer to your colour breakdown for reference. Although the dog is quite dark, don't go overboard. We are just establishing a tonal range from the bottom up. Well, that's it I think for our darkest tone. Now let's move on to our next lightest tone. And that is the burnt umber. And you can see that it's the main body colour around here. So let's get that on. I am just scrubbing this in and using a little water here and there to build up the colour. Well, that's looking great. Now let's bring some rich warmth into it and put some burnt sienna on there. In areas up here. So let's keep moving up the scale and move to a lighter colour. And this will really create form as we bring it into the darks. So on go our final hues, the Naples yellow and white. And I apply these with the same brush, the number 12 angle. Think of these as the highlight colours and think about the light source as you apply these. You can see how interesting that broken dry brushing looks on that surface. I add the eye colour at this stage also, which is orange. Well, that's nice and dry, ready for our top coat. We're going to use the same colours in the same spots, but it just makes it a little denser. So let's get this paint on. I pop on a couple of highlights and then continue to build the tones again. The other thing to remember is that there is really no particular point at which an artwork is finished and you might like to leave it at the underpainting stage. Well, our artwork does not finish here. No, no, no. I am going to create fur and I'm going to create fur by covering my dog with oil pastel and then scratching that oil pastel back to reveal the colour underneath. This is the same principle as why scratchboard works. So let's get this pastel on. The oil pastels that I'm using are the Montmartre oil pastels and they're in the 24 pack. Okay, so I'm putting burnt umber on the front and then black on the back and lay it on really thick. You know what? This type of artwork really takes courage because it feels like you're destroying everything that you've done. But I think it'll be worth it. I'm using a Montmartre modeling tool to remove the pastel. I just love that effect. And I have to say the bold treatment doesn't look nearly as good on camera 
as in real life. I suppose that's to be expected. Well, that's finished. I don't want to take it any further. And thanks for watching. And I hope you've picked up some techniques or at least gained some inspiration. I know I always say it, but I've really enjoyed doing this painting, mainly because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I hope in some way I have succeeded in creating a painting that evokes that forlorn pride that I had when I first met my little street dog friend. So until next time, keep on painting.